My legislature, by the way, was slightly Democrat in Massachusetts. It was 87% Democrat, actually. 13% Republicans. I realized I would get nothing done, nothing done, unless I found a way to find some common ground with people across the aisle. You will hear this from Republicans and Democrats. Mitt Romney was not an effective governor. There is just no mistaking that. He talks about the ability to go across party lines. He talks about the ability to work with other people. He failed miserably in Massachusetts. If people want to know what I stand for, they can look at my record as governor. When Governor Romney became governor of Massachusetts, many of the issues that our country faces were at our doorstep. High debt, the need for jobs, the need to support a working middle class. There were great opportunities, and there was great hope that Governor Romney could deliver. He didn't deliver. I and my Republican colleagues were very quickly disappointed because a lot of the promise of good questions and good answers were just hollow promises. He just seemed distracted, and disengaged from the beginning. And in my 26 years, he's the only governor who has ever refused our invitation to sit and meet with us and talk to us. The man did not care. He didn't care what was going on in our communities. His office doors were closed at 5 o'clock on the dot. His staff was not available to meet with legislators. It's almost like there was a moat system around the Romney Castle. It didn't make any difference whether you're Republican or Democrat. It was hard to get across the bridge. From day one, he, he had aides walking around with fake earpieces in their ears, I remember that, and pretending that they were Secret Service agents. And he put up a velvet rope in front of the office and made sure that no one had access to the governor's office whatsoever. If Mitt Romney couldn't care enough or didn't have the skill set to work with 200 legislators who, in Massachusetts who get along reasonably well, how in, on God's green earth is he going to be able to manage 535 people in Washington who can't get along?